The University of Calgary is a young and still growing and very energetic university, and this is certainly symbolized in the Faculty of Medicine. We recognize that solving society's most pressing problems takes researchers who are both innovative and who approach challenges with an open mind. Sam Weiss is that kind of researcher. Discovery favors the prepared mind, and he made an observation that brain cells, in fact, can renew themselves. Adult neural stem cells are now being tested for their capacity to repair the brain after stroke. And it looks as though it may be possible to test this as well in multiple sclerosis, in spinal cord injury, and maybe even in some mental health disorders like depression and anxiety. Our original discovery of adult neural stem cells really wasn't something we were looking for. We did an experiment. Truth be known, abject failure of an experiment. But in the corner of the dish that we were looking at, something was growing. And lo and behold, it turned out that what we had done was we had discovered the neural stem cells. So it just shows that something that was unexpected 15 years ago becomes a fundamental part now of our knowledge base and is also what we use to translate knowledge into practice that could benefit people. Winning a Gardner International Award is a fitting recognition of Dr. Weiss's outstanding achievements. It is Canada's only internationally respected award for scientific research. One quarter of all Gardner winners have gone on to win a Nobel Prize. The vast majority of winners of the Gardner Award are not Canadians. They're Americans, they're British, they're from other countries. This is particularly important because it's the first Gardner Award for the University of Calgary. I am truly, uh, truly humbled and, and, and thrilled at the same time. It's the ultimate recognition by your peers. The selection committee is made up of Nobel laureates, uh, other Gardner Award winners. And this award is, is not just a recognition of me, it's actually a recognition of a group, the people that I've been working with for the last 15 and 20 years, particularly my graduate students. We do it today, we're going to do it tomorrow. We're going to continue to involve the best and the brightest young people, inspire in them the pursuit of discovery, and once you discover something meaningful, try to translate it into something that's going to benefit people.